Hey! Hey, Bash. It is the 16th of April, 2019. And my schedule yesterday just didn't allow me to get to this. But this is quite fascinating. This Notre Dame Cathedral burning down. That's an understatement. But there are several things very quickly this morning that just were put out in front of me that are like, whoa, this is... This is absolutely something significant going on here. I'm just going to show you what I saw. And I'm sure I'm not the first one at this point to have seen what I'm going to show you. Uh, the iPet Goat. Uh, pretty much everybody in the world has probably seen this. But I made videos, uh, I don't know, a year or two ago showing this particular scene and seeing this as the collapse of the quote Christian church as the world knows it. There are true Christians, there are pseudo Christians, there are all sorts of Christians and not many of them even know what a Christian really is, never mind actually live like a Christian. But I digress. When this steeple here, this spire, falls it's interesting to watch a very specific part of it and i'm going to try and give you the comparison to these two first the best i can so we'll get this one started and we'll bring this one up and get this going and you can see that's pretty crazy right but if you continue watching this one the ipec goat this is amazing because right as the uh, spires falling you see this cross this is the main cross on this cathedral and watch as the spire takes out the cross right there okay at exactly 6 11 on the timestamp and this is the original video so right at 6 11 it takes out the cross and oddly enough if you look at this uh cathedral right going through this article and like I say I haven't had a whole lot of time to go on this let me get rid of this here um, but you'll see down here somewhere they put a lot of pictures on there I have the wiki here too let me get the wiki for you oh yeah it was the Boston Marathon yesterday too right here the cathedral was begun in 1160 and largely completed by 1260 1160 and if you look at the timestamp on the iPet goat 11 6 which also you know flip those around you have 911 911 right but that's not all the completed by 1260 now this is just crazy but okay the Boston Marathon the 123rd I, I was kind of focusing on that yesterday a little bit because you know I'm from Boston blah 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 the Boston bombing, all those things that happened. And so the one, two, three. But the other day, someone had mentioned to me about the the black hole. They referred to it in a comment, and I, I it caught my attention as perhaps representing the red dragon. The red dragon in Revelation 12, 3. The 123rd Boston Marathon, which just, these are the way these things click with me 12 3 so uh, appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon now I'm just kind of running off of what what's given me here but this is very interesting very interesting because the 1260 days or years 1260 rather when it was completed if you keep, continue reading Revelation 12, you get down to Revelation 12, 6, as in 1260. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared to God that she should feed her there 1,260 days. 1260 and 1260 on the uh, cathedral. So I just keep seeing these things. And at the same time, there's so many things that take into consideration here. At the same time, you know, yesterday, they were actually in Israel. And again, you got to bear with me finding these things because I'm just not set up right now. You know what I mean? 
In Israel, though, they slaughtered a goat. I mean, by the whole temple rules and all this stuff. Here we go. This is no lie. Passover sacrifice, and they do it like four days before Passover. I just find that to be very strange. I don't know. What do I know, right? The goat was prepared and roasted, burnt. So they burnt, sacrificed and burnt a goat at the same time that this cathedral was being burnt, right? This is just crazy stuff, you guys. I don't know how exactly to put this all together, but hopefully I'll get to it again later and, and put some more time into this because, you know, my spirit's like kind of going off the charts with all these things going on here. But it's all right there. And it's funny, I pet goat, and they slaughter a goat, right? And when you continue watching this, I mean, basically it depicts their new world. This is the destruction of, quote, Christianity as the world knows it. And in comes the new Jesus and the morning star. That's just how I see it, basically. <laughs> Look in uh, what, Isaiah again. We were just in Isaiah the other day on Isaiah 14. Yeah, Isaiah 14. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Right? And that's basically what they're depicting right here. Along with the scorpions, the pyramids, they this, the pyramids get destroyed. It's their phoenix, if you will. I haven't looked at Ipec Goat in a long time. But that's what we're looking at. That's what my spirit's telling me. That's what we're seeing right there. This is symbolizing the death of Christianity and the rise of the New World religion. Which, these guys, this is just crazy to me. These, uh, these Israelites, these Jews that are doing this sacrifice of the goat. Why are you doing the Passover goat four days before Passover? That's just insane. And like I say, I hope to get to more of this later. I really do. But that's all I can give you right now. And it's real. And just be in Christ. I mean, I'm telling you, it's really manifesting fast. And you got to be on that rock. Be in Christ. Praying always. Singing in your spirit. Knowing that he has the victory. Amen. So, there you go. Peace and grace to you all. And fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 